speaking. Good morning, Camp Every day at Camp Abilities starts the same way, with care to share. I got seven more shots, baskets on the, on the basketball court last night, including three in a row. I rode three miles on the candle pipe. I did my first backflip on the rings at gymnastics. All these children are visually impaired, and they've come to Camp Abilities for a one-week developmental sports camp. Their inspiration this year is Marla Runyon, who is diagnosed with Stargardt's disease. It's a form of juvenile onset macular degeneration. She was diagnosed when she was just nine years old. We all know, I mean, for everybody, whether you're sighted or not, you know, physical exercise, activity, sports, and think about what a role that plays in your life. Running became my, my, choi my choice of sport after I kind of abandoned soccer and I had such trouble seeing the ball, obviously. So I went out for my high school track team. And boy, could Runyon run. After running track and field in high school and college, she turned pro, eventually becoming the first legally blind athlete to compete in the Olympic Games. Runyon says she was able to reach her full potential by competing against the best athletes in the world. And now she's giving these campers their first taste of competitive sports. Camp Abilities to me is all about empowering kids and teaching them what they can do and giving them opportunities that they are not otherwise available to them at public school or after school programs. And there's a lot to choose from. Sports like beat baseball, goal ball, they learn to ride bikes, practice judo, and of course, run track. When my vision changed, um, but my desire to be in sports never changed. And so I just stuck with it. Just like the camp's mantra says, a loss of sight doesn't have to mean a loss of vision. Because our motto for camp abilities is believe you can. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.